Just north of Marietta lies the small and quiet village of Rowena. Along Old River Road sits an eerie two centuries old cemetery that has been a hotbed for paranormal activity in recent years. As marked in stone, this is the resting place of Hans Groff's descendants and is often referred to as Hans Groff Cemetery. Hans Groff was a Swiss immigrant who was one of the first settlers of Lancaster County. This small cemetery includes around 30 markers, many of which are unreadable or crumbled altogether. A small wall surrounds the cemetery and there is no gate. Like many old and peculiar cemeteries in Lancaster, these grounds are the central topic of various local legends. For some reason, the tales surrounding this cemetery involve werewolves and ghost canines. One legend says that a handful of Groff's descendants were accused of being werewolves and were shot down under a full moon at this very spot. While it's hard to decipher death dates on the tombstones, none appear to be repeating. That doesn't mean that these poor souls aren't buried in unmarked graves, but I think it's safe to say that this is a colorful tale. Another legend says that Hans Groff was killed by a werewolf, or perhaps was one himself, and placed a curse on these grounds and now forever haunts it in canine form. Fact is, Hans himself is actually buried in Leola and died in 1746, which is about 50 years before the first grave was even put in this spot. The big question then is, why would Hans haunt these grounds in the first place as the legend suggests? Perhaps to protect his descendants? Legend says if you circle the cemetery seven times under a full moon, you won't live to see morning. Tales like these have attracted many brave thrill seekers over the years. This cemetery got the attention of the Lancaster Intelligencer in 1982, and an article was published talking about the dare. Staff writer and ghost skeptic George Sheldon visited the site and claimed to have been pushed by something while standing on the cemetery wall. This turned his skepticism around rather quickly. Those that visit the cemetery at night sometimes report hearing strange canine barking noises, with some witnessing a white canine among the graves. One person relayed his experience on the now-defunct StrangeUSA.com forums in 2013. Me and several friends witnessed the shadows. After being creeped out by that, we heard growling and barking. We looked down the road and saw a man-sized wolf on its hind legs charging at us. We all ran to our car, which has already started, and sped off. So what's the real history behind this graveyard? One of the oldest decipherable graves in the cemetery has a death date of 1805 and is Henry Groves, which is anglicized from Groff. Some late genealogical research shows that he was the grandson of Hans Groff, the pioneer settler. Multiple cemetery records have this particular cemetery titled as Shock's Burial Ground and includes a list of all that are buried here. Looking at this list, we can assume that these were just ordinary people who lived and died in the area formerly known as Shock's Mill. At the surface, this is just another old cemetery, but so many legends are derived from this plot that it's hard to just turn the other cheek. A big question is, why do people hear barking? Maybe it's the neighborhood dogs in the distance, or maybe it's the spirit of a dog buried with its family. If that's the case, then I guess even in death, dogs are still man's best friend guarding the resting place of their owners. Just as we said in 1982, we may never know if these grounds are haunted by a werewolf or a canine. The only way to really find out is to venture there under a full moon and circle the cemetery wall seven times. No one has ever done it so far we can tell. At least, no one who's still alive to talk about it.